Well, it is the time of year when high school seniors across the country are waiting anxiously for college acceptance letters. Well, one such group of students met with Congressman Frank Ginta tonight after he nominated each of them to attend a U.S. military academy. High school senior Ann Dunnigan would like to attend the U.S. Naval Academy. Going to the Naval Academy, being able to serve afterwards, um, I want to be an engineer. Todd Hearn has set his sights on the Air Force Academy. I would really like to be a, a pilot. And Lucas Dishart hopes his time at the Naval Academy will help him achieve his life goal. I envision myself in the Navy and Marine Corps. I'd like to be a Navy SEAL. These three were part of a group of 35 New Hampshire students nominated by Congressman Frank Ginta to serve at West Point, the Naval or Air Force. Force academies. They represent the best of New Hampshire and I wanted to have them here, honor them for not just their hard work and dedication, but their commitment to the United States. If accepted, these students will receive a full four-year scholarship, but in return they must spend a minimum of five years on active duty as a military officer. It's a commitment not lost on their parents. You know, it's a four-year scholarship for us not for her. She's she's paying it back with five years of service or more. Still, every parent here is hoping their child gets accepted. These students among a group of overachievers and future leaders. He's a junior ski patrolman up at Gunstock. You know, he's uh, got his outdoor emergency services and he's soloing airplanes at 17. Academically, uh, athletically, uh, uh, he's done some community service and just the way he's, he's a self-starter. Bright kids, good luck to them all. The U.S. military academies include West Point, the U.S. Naval Academy, the U.S. Air Force Academy, and the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. And again, good luck to all of the New Hampshire students nominated to attend one of those schools.